I suffered when I was in the lifestyle. <laughs> For me, the gay lifestyle is, was, is toxic. We invited individuals who are for and against LGBTQ to sit and discuss their viewpoints on the LGBTQ situation in Malaysia and eventually agree to disagree. Okay. <laughs> I guess being on social media, you know, when you're out saying that I support LGBTQ, you get a lot of hate speeches and also, you know, probably death threats. But such an irony because I, um, I was a transgender in my early 20s and I was very much judged and went through what you went through. Yes. Today I believe that LGBT can change and I'm still getting the same thing. My gay friends who are out there, they know my stance, so I, they've never condemned me for my views. I'm interested how you um, know LGBT people. I, I myself uh, struggle with homosexuality uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. so I'm a Christian and I believe in the Bible. It was a, a big conflict in my life. Mm -hmm. Some of my friends have still remained in the lifestyle, people I went to seminary with. Mm. Your gay friends, they know that you used to be gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the religious community? Do they know about your background, your history? Not many people know. Not many know. Yeah. You should be very proud that you've been so brave. <laughs> Thanks. It's your rights to be gay. It's my rights to be ex-transgender. Even though we don't agree with everybody's things, but we give them the respect to choose. So maybe people are free to choose, but the choice isn't there. I mean, we deal with people who get kicked out of their home at 3 o'clock in the morning and get beaten by their entire family just because of who they love. Really? Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of studies showing it is both biologically and also environment uh, factors that influences a person's sexual orientation. I tried for a long time to be straight and it was really hard whenever I finally was like, no, I'm not going to pretend to be something that I'm not anymore. Ten years after coming out, my mom's like, I can see now that you are so much happier than you were before. You're content in yourself. And that's because I'm at peace with who I am and because I am loved and supported by those around me. Most of my friends who struggle with homosexuality struggle with it as children as well. I thought maybe I was born gay or they were born gay, but the scriptures so clearly state that homosexuality is wrong. He won't contradict himself in the Bible. And so that's where I'm coming from. And I know a lot of gay Christians who have the same sex attraction, but they choose not to act on it. I think that the signs that you said, there's no proof. Theories are just stories. I suffered when I was in the lifestyle. <laughs> For me, the gay lifestyle is, was, is toxic. I mean, theories are not stories because I believe in the science, you know. I would love if you respect my belief for not calling the theory a story that I would call the verses in the Bible as stories as well. I have to respect you that you think your theory is real. You have to respect me if I think that your theory is a story. So we both agree to disagree. It's equal. Yeah, I would say that, and that's not a bad thing. Human beings deserve the attention that they deserve. Mm -hmm. whether, whether you agree or not to what they are choosing, that's a different story altogether. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a positive thing. I guess how people narrate how crying for attention is something negative, you know? They're just saying who they are. It's just a statement. The same statement you say when you're, if you're a Muslim or Christian. It's not always a cry for desperation. It's just yes. they feel like they want to come out. It's the right time. They have friends. For me, it was um, I didn't want to just end up being in heterosexual relationships because that's what's easy. But I wasn't willing anymore to pretend to be something that I wasn't. Well, the WHO already says that homosexuality and transgenders are not mental illnesses.